It is 6.53 on this Thursday morning. Before you head out to start your day, here's a look at some of the morning's top stories that we're following. Providence Police investigating the city's 12th homicide of the year. man in his 40s stabbed to death inside of the Nara Hookah Lounge, which is located on Atwells Avenue. It happened around midnight. Right now, not clear what led to the stabbing. Officials tell us so far, no arrests have been made. Other news, Bradley Airport and Hartford back open after a deadly World War II era plane crash yesterday. 16 people involved, 10 passengers, 3 crew members, 2 aviation employees and a firefighter. 7 people are confirmed dead according to the NTSB. Uh, the uh, aircraft uh, took off and then there were issues shortly after takeoff. The pilot attempted to return to the runway when it crashed. Legal battle between the Fall River City Council and embattled mayor, Jason Correa, set to continue today. Hearing is scheduled as the City Council tries to remove Correa from office. It was originally scheduled for earlier in the week, but postponed until today. Last month, City Council voted to remove Correa from office after he was arrested on federal extortion charges, but Correa has refused to step down. New Bedford City Councilor Brian Gomes has withdrawn from the mayoral race. That's according to the Standard Times, coming just two days after he came in second in the city's preliminary election behind incumbent mayor John Mitchell. Now third place finisher Tyson Moultrie will take Gomes's place in the general election for mayor. Gomes will remain on the ballot for the city council at large seat. Former U.S. envoy to Ukraine Kurt Volker set to testify today behind closed doors on Capitol Hill. Volker, who stepped down last week, will be the first witness to testify after a whistleblower complaint set off the House impeachment inquiry, inquiry against President Trump. President again vigorously denying any wrongdoing in his July 25th phone call with the Ukraine president calling it a quote, perfect call. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders hospitalized in Las Vegas after experiencing chest discomfort at an event. Doctors inserted two stents in a blocked artery of the 78-year-old Democratic presidential candidate who uh, advocates for major health care reform, tweeted, I'm fortunate to have good health care and great doctors and nurses helping me to recover. Those are your top stories this morning. For updates all day, just go to the WPRI 12 News app or our website, WPRI.com.